All right, y'all. So I just did a short kinda. Um, not really good at those, but I'm gonna go in full rant mode. Oh, on this thing called zipper merge. Um, people who do this are, are are BS, right? Because in a zipper mode, zipper merge. Sorry, you, you like I explained in a short, it's a fixed point. Zippers when you when you skip the spot where you're at in a zipper you kind of end up in a situation where the zipper is misaligned and it doesn't do its job. It's screwed up. So, with, when you have people like this, you're not zipper merging, you're just skipping the line. Let's say, let's go all the way to the front. Now let's say that, hell, I can't even go on so fast. Let's say that white truck back there was when they first saw the merge line. You would stay in that lane because I, hear the, I see the comment all the time in this, Conversation, use both lanes, use both lanes, okay? You you would stay right next to that, 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 that right truck until it was time for you to merge at the cones, and then you would merge at the cones. So you can't claim to want to zipper merge, and then you skip the entire fucking line, especially when people stick their car back out, and you go, no, 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 I'm going to go around you. That's not zipper merging. That's skipping the line. That's skipping to the front. That's not using both lanes. That's skipping the line. You're full of shit. All of you. If you want to zipper merge, that's fine. But you can't jump around early mergers and say, oh, well, well now, now, now I'm, I'm just zipper merging. No, you're not. You're being an ass. You're being a dick. This I hate I hate this this comment. I, I absolutely hate it. He said everyone here is saying the problem is the actual are the actual ones causing the single lane traffic when there's literally two lanes to use. If the single lane for construction is one quarter of a mile long, why are you so hell bent on turning one quarter mile of single lane traffic into three miles of single lane traffic? Okay, I think he meant a quarter mile of two single lane, or whatever. I anyway. You're trying to fit the same amount of traffic into the same amount of lanes. Let's, again, we're going from two to one in this example. I know it's not always the case, but in this example, we're going from two to one. If you're going from two to one and you're trying to fit the, 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 this amount of traffic in there, you're going to have a backup regardless. So to claim that your the, the early mergers are doing it wrong and making it take longer, that you're again, you're full of shit because if you simply stay in your spot of the zipper merge and then merge over when you feel necessary, that literally is that, that that's that's you doing your zipper merge. So what's the problem? The problem is you don't actually zipper merge. You just skip the line. That's the fucking difference. And I I I, I cannot stand people like this. It's it's incredibly incredibly it's aggravating because you're lying. You're lying. You know damn well this is not what you claim it is. And I usually don't do responses in these because they get, get quite lengthy. But she says, thank you. The lane is still legally open and blocking people like this is impeding traffic. No. How could you be blocking people if you are supposed to use both lanes? Think about what you're saying. You're supposed to use both lanes is your point. But yet, using both lanes is impeding traffic. How the fuck is it impeding traffic if you say I'm supposed to be in this lane? How? Again, just just using something to as as to your advantage to say fuck everyone else. You're not doing, you're not some I I'm obeying the law. No, you're not. You're being a dick. Turn your license, turn in your license. She's the problem. Zip emerges an excuse for bad drivers to cut. And which forces everyone else to be behind, brake slowing down the entire line, making that line worse. He responds, turn in your license. Turn your license in. Zip emerging is the correct way to merge and conduct the traffic, increase traffic flow. Okay, you ignore what the person said. You just completely ignored it, much like you can you ignore people who are already merging. They didn't say you couldn't zip emerge. Well, let me make sure. Oh, zip emerging is huge. Like I said. Like I said. God damn it. Damn. 
Zip emerging, yes, like I said, is an excuse for people to go, oh, I'm just going to go to the front of the line. No, if you want to zip emerge, then your fixed position in line stay there and zip emerge at the cones like you want to. But the point is you're going to go, you're using it as an excuse to say, oh, I can just say fuck everyone else since they got over and, oh, I'm zip emerging. No, you're cutting to the front of the line. You're cutting to the front of the line. Matter of fact, let me just go real quick and do... There's, I'm going to show you something I did in the shorts. So, again, I'm using two-lane uh, merge because this, this is the most common one that I run into here in Michigan. I'm not sure about everywhere else, but this is one I run into most commonly in Michigan. On the left, this this for people like him. On the left, I have zip merge, thumbs up. On the right, early merge, thumbs down. People, you, the entire traffic does not have to choose between either one. They, they don't. They don't. Not in two-lane traffic. You don't. You... As a zipper merger, can where, let me see real quick. You as a zipper merger, that this is you. You like this, right? That's awful. Let me turn it out. This is you, right? You want you know what? Let me let me. All right, my bad. So let's say you're this car, right? And you love zipper merging. And let's say, I'm pointing to the wrong one. Fuck it, you're this car over here on the right. F my bad, follow me. So on the right over here on early merge, but you like zipper merging though. And this white car is getting over. Okay, cool. That doesn't mean you go, oh, I'm a zipper merger to the front. N no, 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 no. You're a zipper merger, which means you remain right here in lockstep with this car. You remain right there until you get here, and then you get over in front or behind that car. If you want to, if you want to claim zip emerging, zip emerge during your turn. I am not negating my spot in line by early merging. That's the flaw here. Again, let's bring it back to the left where you're the bottom car next to the white. You're you're here. If these two cars get over right now, according to you, oh, that means they're forfeited their spot. So, boing, no. You get to stay where you are and zip emerge. Why are you cutting? In case you haven't noticed, I am an early merger. To me, it just makes sense. We know there's a spot up there. I know there are other people who have gotten over. Why jump past them? When I'm in my semi truck and I'm on a highway and something like this is happening, I don't be a dick and go, well, I'm just going to fly past everyone and get over. But I also know how hard it is to get a big ass semi truck over in front of people. So I, I stop. And again, this isn't too lame how it's simpler to explain. I stop, I wait my turn, I get over. I technically zip emerge, technically, but I still wait. Until it's my spot in the line. I wait. Now, when there's multi-lane traffic condensed down somewhat. Um, for example, there's this freeway highway called I-75. Um, and going uh, south, I believe. Yeah, going south, right before you hit 8 mile. One lane go turns into an off-ramp. Then another lane turns into a merge lane. And depending on when you get off of this one freeway onto 75, 696 onto 75, you are in the lanes that are, you are in the two lanes that are going to disappear. And you have to get over to the left three lanes at some point within like a mile and a half. Is that no, that's between one and four miles. I know that's right. That one and four miles. Look it up. Um, I as soon as I can, I get over to that that third lane. But Sometimes traffic is a little congested and you got to figure shit out, right? Now, if this is not a cone situation or a construction situation, this is just traffic being traffic. Again, I get on, I try to, at that point, I work my way over as opposed to slamming into the, the, the lane that's retarded. I work my way over and let traffic work itself out. Now, if you want to call me a hypocrite, because I don't really know what that falls into, that's why I only use two lanes as an example because I don't know how the fuck to work that out. Um, anyway, that's that. Oops. 
That's that. You can't do this and claim to be a zipper merger when you are a skip the liner. Stop it. I hate you people. You're liars. You're full of shit. Okay, so I found another uh, example that they're trying to say why zipper merge is better. Um, the idea that, as you see here in the top, yes, sir, I don't know, right here is this unused space. I guess you're saying that it makes the line shorter. People, in a two-lane highway, that line is going to be long as fuck anyway. Oh, oh you're making miles of backed up traffic you're making it a half a mile shorter see you see that's the difference between two lanes between using all of the space and some of it you're you're saving like a half a mile maybe of space maybe not really maybe cut the shit the signs don't even go back that fucking far so you have people going up and then see them say oh 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 shit we gotta get over a mile up. The the long, the furthest back I've seen that is two miles. Now I'm not saying it doesn't go back farther than that. The farthest back I've seen that is two miles. So if you if you want to claim that somehow traffic is going to go three, it's going to, instead of being two miles back, it's going to be seven because you're early mergers. Like like I guess when you early merge. You can no longer get through the, the, the traffic, right? Cut the shit. Stop it. Stop. Just say you use it as an excuse to cut. So we can call you out properly, you liar. Matter of fact, let's listen to some of this. Fuck it. That was his excuse at first. And then he goes, she goes, now it's about money. Which, COVID has hit everyone really hard. Yeah. And it's not just like money. It's like my family. Yeah, you know, because I think that's what it is. I think that's where the love language is. For some reason, like, the whole idea of, like, gifts as a love Dude, language almost just seems like, oh, that's just really Zipper merge. At all. Zipper merge. Fucking zipper merge. What the fuck are you doing? Again, you, one, at least one sign, but I know further up, there's another sign that says merge. Now, you can acknowledge that. At the point you see right here, you not you see the sign you saw one before, but let's go with that. You saw that sign, you saw him. Why not just park right there next to that truck right beside you and go? Okay, when we get up there and it's my turn, I will zip emerge. But the you space, okay. When all the cars, when apparently twenty five cars, because I'm not sure how long this line is. Let's go twenty five cars. When twenty five cars all get over and go up there, you mean to tell me now the line is going to move just as fast as moving now? You, you're kind of negating the unused space when all of you constantly jump over there and think you're going to ram your space self into the, 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 the other lane. Damn. This right here is proof why we don't want to share shit with, 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 with people like you. Because I'm pretty sure the same people going, we should have universal everything, but then do this type of shit. Why is nobody in that lane? There's nothing wrong with that lane. That's besides the point. You can wet your spot next to the car, next to your zipper spot. How about that? Someone actually made an experiment based on around this. Zipper merges actually move traffic quicker. I think the fault here is the sign posted the lane closure way too far in advance. I'll give you credit for that last point about it being too far down. But problem is, problem is, Again, that experiment, I don't I haven't seen it. And I'm not gonna look it up because I'm in vertical mode and I have to review the video in vertical mode. I'm not gonna look it up. But here's here's what I, I'm pretty here's what I, I'll go out on the limb and say I know. Even though I know that's a flaw and fallacy, I'm still gonna stick my neck out there and say I know. What it what, what happened with that uh that experiment in zipper merging? It was likely in a fixed environment. Likely we can do we can exercise the other one next. It was in a, a fixed environment, and the conditions were everybody was a zipper merger, everybody, and they all said behaved and accordingly. You go, I go. You go, I go. You go, I go. And I don't know if you noticed, but there was at least one semi truck and a bunch of other different types of trucks. 
So it isn't just in these real life situations. Oh, you just go one at a time and then no, no, no. Being a semi truck driver, I know for a fact when you see me, if I play along with your bullshit zipper merge, you're going to go. No, no, I gotta beat you. I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta beat. So I, fun fact, when I have an exit coming up on a highway, even though I tend to like not hide riding that right lane because I have to get over back, over back, over back, over back. If my if my uh, exit ramp is a little, like a mile or less down, hell, sometimes even two, depending on the highway. If you have to merge onto the freeway on that on ramp, I'm not moving. You just have to slow the fuck down or stop. I'm not moving. Why? Not because I just want to be a dick, but because I know that if I get over and I got less than a mile to get back over, I got to fight a few of you to get over. I have to fight you. I have to put my blinker on. I got to get over. I got to get over. I got to, I got to, let me nudge through your fucking lane because you're not moving. I got to get over. I got to get over. I got to get over. And you're still going to say, I got to get over. Somebody, I got to get over. Well, let me speak past you then so you're in front of me. I got, I got to get fucking over. So I know this idea of the experiment to cut the shit because that experiment was either in a fixed situation like I described where of course you can predict the that the outcome is better in which hell if you do I can I can do a if I did an experiment on early merging I can literally just set the, the situation up to where you everybody times everything perfectly and goes through super smoothly and oh look look at the timing S stop it Stop it. Now, let's go with the alternate, which is they studied different situations in which there was a zipper merge going on and they early merge going on. They probably went, oh, let's look at the lane movement time with the early merge when, when they urge early, early versus when they zipper merge. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have brought that up because I don't even know where to go with that. Honestly, that's my bad. But you get the point. You can you can make anything look the way you do and and say, oh, I'm right. But let's look just just a few more comments. Just read these comments. Clearly not many people know how to actually drive. That doesn't really tell me anything. How is it that this many people don't understand how to zip emerge? <clears throat> it's not that we don't understand how to zip emerge. We know people like in this video exist. You're not going to actually zip merge. You're going to try to go. You're, you're going to people. Even if we all agree to zip merge, you're going to have people who go not one at a time at the zip merge. Notice the people who fight for zip merging are the people who fight for, who justify going around everybody to zip merge. Stop it. How is it that the vast majority of people don't understand how a lane, how a lane closure is supposed to work? Zip and merge at the merging point. Okay. Again, how is it that you people don't understand to wait your fucking turn and not skip traffic? How about that? How about that? Because if, listen, if, look at that solo line she had to get over, right? If that line is moving that slow to get through that, what do you think is going to happen when you take your car up there and try to get, they're going to have to stop for you and it's going to move slower. I don't, I don't want to, I don't understand this. I don't get that. If pe listen, if everybody early merge, I can make the point that traffic will, you know, move a lot faster because everybody can just move single file, single speed right on through there and it wouldn't have to be any braking. Zip and merging is just merging at the last second. It doesn't make you go through one lane section any faster. People are going to go as fast as they go through one lane section. That's the limiting factor, not when, when you merge. All zip and merging does is make the end of the line shorter because you're cramming the same number of vehicles into the space. Per thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not sure what side you took, but thank you. It does. You can have both going on, but just don't try to cheat and go, Oh, I'm zip immersing when I really just jump in front of everyone. Stop doing that, you liar. Not utilizing the lane to its fullest is causing the traffic jam. Zip and merge is zip and merge at where it's closed off. P 
people who get over cause traffic. Um, no, it's no, it's not. You still uh, uh, people like this apparently don't understand that the traffic doesn't disappear. I guess I, I, I'm just assuming that that's what they that's what it goes on in their mind. That if they we all just crammed ourselves in at the exact point of the merge. Therefore, traffic just ceases to exist. And we all just, we, we our, our speed increases from 20 miles an hour to 30 because we're all going in at the same point. Come on, dog. Or don't be the jackass that does that and pisses everyone else and everyone else merge a while ago. This is always comical to me. Construction and general traffic lane closes are just hysterical to me. If the lane isn't closed yet, then vehicles should be in the lane. Merge at the merge, not not at the idea of a traffic merge, the threat of it. Literally, traffic flows better when at the merge. None of you have actual proof to that, including the person who said there was a study. None of you know that. None of you do. You just say that shit because. because unless you want to say that there was a point in time where you seen more than once, several times, that all the people who on the highway where you went from two to one, Every last one of them were happy zipper mergers. You, 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 you want to lie to me like that? Stop lying. Stop lying to me. Stop it. When everyone wait to merge last minute, fuck up the flow. Just merge and have patience like everyone else. Again, I'm not saying you have to merge 30 miles back. But if you know we're merging, hold your fucking spot. Hold your spot. I hope people keep allowing her to not to zip and merge. Oh my God. You are not wrong. Zip and merging is proven to keep the flow of traffic moving. What these people are doing is wrong. Everyone's saying you are wrong. Go back to driving school. We are taught zip and merge and driver's ed and the handbook. People. Um, I, I, I didn't see that handbook. Um, so I'm not sure how correct that is. But you do realize to get your license based on the same guidelines and all that shit in that handbook, you are allowed to have 30 something mistake or is it 24? It, listen, either way, whether it's my regular license or my CDLs, you are allowed to fuck up a lot on the road. So don't give me this shit about putting driver's ed. They also have fucking trans reading hours. Cool. Shut up. And it's not proven by anything. It's not. Matter of fact, after this, I'm probably going to do a reaction video too. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it the fuck up. Because you people are lying. You people are lying. Hold on. What did, what did he say? To, then this is the last one. To everyone saying, get over at the first sign. You are the reason there's a traffic jam. The entire premise of a dip and merge is to allow a consistent flow of traffic in the designated merge area. Now getting over early is absolutely acceptable. But when people attempt to use the merge point the right the right way, block them and force them to slow to slow, to slow a to a stop and wiggle in some at some point, that's what causes bumper to bumper traffic that's really at five miles per hour. You do not have you do not own the fucking road. Oh okay, here here's the problem with this. And again, this is the last one. Um, a constant flow of traffic does not mean it's faster because if everyone got over at the first sign like people are saying which again if you don't want to fine but if everyone did it would literally be zipper merging at that point so wouldn't that just give you the same re result wouldn't it wouldn't it give you the same result you moron wouldn't that give you the same fucking result? Oh, but if you just wait another two miles, the end of the traffic jam will be two miles further up. That's the point we're making here. Seriously, that's the point. Shit. But when you attempt to merge at the right way and you block them, 
and force them to stop and wiggle in at some point, that doesn't that doesn't cause the bumper bumper traffic. The proper wording is when you jump in front of people instead of holding your your fixed spot at the zip and merge, that causes the bumper to bumper traffic because you're trying to ram your way in at the wrong spot. You're out of point. You're out of order. Stick right there in your zipper spot and merge in. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right there. Um, which one are you? Are you an early, are you an early merger, a zipper merger, or a line jumper? Because there's a difference. Be right, not positive. I'm out.